what up today is one of those days where i just you know just woke up on the wrong side of the bed it's also mercury retrograde if you believe in that i kind of do a little bit or i just kind of like to blame shit going wrong on mercury retrograde but mika hasn't been feeling well so this morning we had to drop her off at the vet she's there all day long waiting to hear back from her vet to see if i have to go pick her up or if they're gonna do treatment so i'm just kind of like i feel like i'm in limbo and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to record myself kind of just going from zero to 100. Shower, nails, hair, makeup, like everything that we go through as women to look or feel beautiful. <laughs> everything is optional. This is just what I like to do. And if it was like, you know, like prom day if i was going to prom this is probably what i would do valentine's day is coming up so if you feel lonely on valentine's day first of all you shouldn't it's just another holiday that puts so much emphasis on like showing your love whereas i personally feel if you already know someone loves you or you love someone you don't need a holiday to express your love anyone else maybe it's just me i don't know my hopes with this video is that if you are feeling lonely, hopefully you can turn it on and feel like we're just sitting down, getting ready together, whether you have a hot date or not. In my situation or in my case, I hope Kyle just appreciates all the effort I put in today, okay? <laughs> if not, I would totally send Boomer out to give all of you hugs and kisses because he is the most cuddly gentleman there is. Boomer, sit, sit. <gasps> My guy, you need a potty cure. Can you give them a kiss? <laughs> Good job, buddy. This is an essential for lengthy beauty routines or even just when washing my face at night because I do like my neck and chest, my decollete to be exposed. So I make sure I'm covering those areas. The spa wrap, I got this one off Amazon. We'll also link it below. It's just Velcro. So you just tighten it like so. And we're going to start with my absolute favorite, Rose Body Polish. I love it because you can do it before you get in the shower. It's like a serum. So it's a chemical and physical exfoliant. Look at that. I have a video just on my KP routine, which is basically what I'm doing here. <laughs> if you want silky smooth, touchable skin. Also, if you're going to do like a faux tan, this is a great exfoliator prior to doing a self-tanning routine, I would recommend my hair. <laughs> Me personally, my experience with faux tans is that I usually smell really bad after doing one, especially my underarms. There's something about that. Like if you know, you know, you know. I'm gonna be adding this everywhere because these shower hooks make me laugh. Kyle's mom sent them to us as like, like a little gift when we first moved in. And they remind me of like my sorority days. Like it says K and M. I always try and cover it. <laughs> I always try and cover it whenever I'm filming in here. Cause I'm like, those are so, um, they just remind me of like something that you would put. Yeah. Like in a sorority house or like a teenager's room. Always pop open a fresh razor for special occasions. Don't use that old crusty one in the shower. So I'm using a fresh razor and I really love this EOS sensitive shaving cream. I'm gonna do that in the shower. Full body shave, you know? It's about to go down. All right, my face feels so dry right now. I wanted to come straight here and shave my face and show you how I do it while I let my shower cool down. It's very steamy in there, so I'm not gonna be able to do my skincare routine or show you anything in there until it cools off. Um, so I just wanna show you my favorite tool for shaving my peach fuzz on my face. This is the Revlon Face Defuzzer. I don't know what it is about this particular razor, but it's so good. Comes in a two pack. I get it off Amazon, I'll link it below. They look like this, so any brand should do. I've used various ones, but for some reason, I just really love these Revlon ones. And basically what I do is I start, see all this little extra, I don't know if you guys can see it from that far. I'm kind of like stuck with where my camera is in the table. <laughs> um, but I start by razoring that off. So even though my sideburns are long, I'm not cutting them off. I'm just kind of shaving off the excess hair underneath. 
and this just makes your foundation and overall your skin just looks so much smoother and I've asked Kyle before if my mustache ever feels prickly like you've just shaved and he said he hasn't noticed but we'll ask him again later in this video <laughs> my eyes are so, I think I got soap in my eyes I need to like these are bomb and actually recommended to me by my eye doctor she's seen me for all my eye issues and she's like if you absolutely have to use a redness drop use lumify some of the other ones have really intense vasoconstrictors which constricts the blood flow to your eye and in return reduces the redness because the veins aren't getting blood um so she said this is the most mild so i usually just do one drop in each eye but i don't try and like abuse it or overuse it definitely don't use it every day it's only for like if I'm about to be on camera and I'm like, wait, why does my eye look so irritated like right now? Okay, back to shaving. So I do this to my entire face, just not really the forehead. And I also want to reiterate that there is nothing on my skin. In the shower, I washed it with my PCA BPO 5% cleanser. It's my favorite for preventing future breakouts. That's all I used. And my skin right now feels and looks very dry but you wanna shave with a dry face because if there's any product on there, it can get into your pores, it can just uh, further aggravate the skin, so dry skin is best. So do light little strokes just like that. Hold the skin back tight and it makes it a lot easier. And then I do hit up the unibrow. I don't get close to the actual eyebrow at all. I'm literally just hitting up right here to make it look nice and smooth and then if you want you can do the forehead i just kind of go more so around the brows in this little section right here and that's about it so that the brows end up looking really clean when you do your makeup too if you razor this little area right here all right i think we're good i'm gonna go back to the bathroom hopefully it's less steamy and do my actual skincare routine and put some body lotion on my body because I forgot. I just wanted to get straight to shaving my face before I start to feel super, super dry. Okay, I'm gonna wash my face one more time with something very gentle. I think it's in the shower. I'm gonna use this super simple CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser. It doesn't even foam. I just want to remove any excess hair that might be on my face from shaving and rehydrate. Just It's just kind of, um, I feel like going in with skincare right now after shaving, it feels like a little dirty for whatever reason. So I'm gonna do this real quick. First bit of skincare, the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5, my favorite hydrating ingredient. Instantly, you just feel so hydrated, it's so satisfying. And after shaving, I want to avoid any acids because it's just, the skin can be a little sensitive and if you add an acid like vitamin C, you will feel it. So all I'm going to do is moisturize. Now I'm going to use this Biosance Squalane Peptide Eye Gel. I haven't really been into eye creams lately, to be honest. I really love this Dermalogica Vitamin C Serum. I seem to have lost my backup. I'll show it to you guys right now. Um, I love that one, but again, it's a vitamin C, so just in case that serum gets, you know, anywhere else aside from my eyes, I don't want it to sting on the areas that I shaved. But it is this one right here. Jeez. I cannot wait to remodel this house. This bathroom is like such a tight space. If you can see where the toilet is, I'm like standing between the toilet and the sink. <laughs> this is the vitamin C serum that I love from Dermalogica. And then I just picked up this moisturizer this morning from Naturium, Susan Yara's skincare line. I was so excited to see it at Target. I've been in the market for a new moisturizer. My skin's been dry. It's getting better though. I'll share my matcha collagen. Um, before we get into the makeup so I can like sip on something while getting ready So it's been a lot less dry, but still none of my moisturizers have been satisfying and then I saw this and Immediately without hesitation purchased it. Let me show you how thick and creamy it is I want like a I want a moisturizer that works as my actual skincare and that I can reapply underneath my makeup I feel like so many of my moisturizers don't play well with makeup or they're not the right texture consistency they don't leave my skin feeling the way I want it to prior to makeup and this one so far I just like <laughs> just to test it out before I hopped in the shower I put a little bit on my skin and it is very hydrating 
the consistency is what I look for in a moisturizer and I just really, really love it so far. First time using it. Even though I would advise against using any new products for any big occasion, like a date night, first date, wedding, <laughs> anniversary, anything special where you wanna look good, avoid using anything brand new that you haven't tried before in case you have a bad reaction to it. You don't want it to happen during that special occasion. So I'm going against my own rule here, but I did a little patch test and I really liked it. So I'm gonna use it and I trust Susan, okay? I trust her with my skin. <laughs> And then I'm going to moisturize my body with CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. If you've seen my KP management video, it's best to do this right out the shower. But regardless, this feels incredible on freshly exfoliated skin, freshly exfoliated and shaped skin. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Kyle's got to take a poop. I got to pee. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Had to switch up the environment so that Kyle could pee in peace. Gonna finish up my final steps in here. Dove Dry Spray, my favorite deodorant. Also, if you've freshly shaved because you got yourself a date, it's not gonna irritate your armpits. So you don't have to choose between being smelly or irritating your armpits. You can still shave and then use that. Also, I've recently noticed a bit of dermatitis on my eye right here. And this is working really, really well to minimize the look of it. And it, I feel like it's going away already. This is Skin Fix Eczema Plus Dermatitis Face Balm. It's super thick. So you need the smallest amount, which is probably why it comes in this tiny tube. And I just put it right here where I'm breaking out in that bit of dermatitis. And then you already know Clarence Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm. You guys are getting like the full rundown of my beauty routine in today's video, <laughs> like everything. Gum graft is healing nicely. I'm not gonna show you guys what it looks like until after my final checkup because you're instructed not to pull out your lip to look at it to uh, not affect the healing process. So um, I will show it to you guys because it doesn't look that bad. It actually looks really good, but we're gonna wait until my final follow-up, which I think is like March 2nd. And okay, I'm gonna do a bit of work right now and then we're gonna do my hair. Cause I feel like I've been ignoring my phone since I started vlogging. <laughs> doing anything different I'm taking vitamins but they're not hair vitamins but I mean this is my hair blow-dried <laughs> now I'm going to do my typical blowout curls um, if you saw my last video that was specifically on this technique I was using a purple curling iron that one just for me, it didn't feel like it got hot enough to actually do anything with this hair. <laughs> and this one is like the Hot Tools Pro. Um, I got it off Ulta, also will be linked down below. Everything will be linked down below as always, but um, this one works really well, it's super smooth. In comparison to like the Gold Barrel Hot Tools, this one's ceramic, so it allows me to really easily glide through my hair, which is important when you have this texture. The gold one, um, I feel like it causes a lot of snagging and a little more damage to the hair. So I really gravitated towards this one and it's been working really well for this technique. you guys on this piece these top two how I do this in case you don't want to click on the other video 
I understand. So I go through one pass, clamp it is on top, and I go under, glide it down. About halfway through, I go back up and then pull it all the way to the very end, and then hold it up top. in another video that this is really crazy of me but I switch over to the Dyson Airwrap for my fringe because I'm really bad at round brushing so you could totally do this with just a separate round brush and a hair dryer to me this is easy and I use it daily so it's always plugged in this is what I'm gonna use and I'm gonna try and talk through it it's just that it might get really loud and then I might have to cut it off when editing this how I build volume here I'm gonna go under like this and blow dry it, and then I'm gonna flip it and finish going back this way. That is how I get that volume right there. And then to finish things off, I'm gonna add some more shine. Aveda Brilliant Emollient Finishing Gloss. And apparently there's been a fight between millennials such as myself and Gen Z about how a side part makes you old. And it's all about the middle part. I kind of go back and forth. So I kind of start, like I definitely style my hair with the middle part, but then I do this all day long. I just love doing this with my hair. And it kind of just adds to the volume. Got this chair. <laughs> Need to give it the axe. Like this. Time to do the nails, my least favorite. I'm not really into nails, so take it all in because this is probably the most you're gonna get out of me for a nail tutorial. <laughs> if you want to follow someone that's really great, follow my friend Mariam NYC on Instagram. I'll make sure to tag her right here. Some essentials if you're doing gel polish at home, you need this. You know, at the end when They've done a gel manicure and the nails are a little sticky or if you've ever done it yourself at home you need something afterwards to get rid of that stickiness this is the nail remover usually my gel comes off on its own because i'm not shaving my nails down or buffing them down like they do at the salon so they usually come off on their own by the time i'm ready to do a new manicure and then you're going to want some gel polishes these are all from opi i get them off a website called beyond polish this is the base coat the top coat and then I'm very basic and I just love a neutral color because this is the perfect color that if your nail is chipped, if it fell off on just one fingernail, everything still looks really put together without having to do all of your nails all over again. I'm gonna file my nails. I get asked about the shape and the longer they get, the more I like a coffin shape. So when they're shorter, I like almond or squared and then as they get longer, I like them to come to a point. So I essentially just kind of like, okay, if you're looking at my nail, I file the ends going towards the center, but then still round out the edges. I don't like my nails to be pointy in any way. So I don't know how I'm gonna show this on camera without messing up my own nail. <laughs> Hopefully you guys get the point. <laughs> Here is the shape afterwards. See how they go in, but are still a little squared. It's like a mini coffin. <laughs> Next thing you wanna do is cleanse the nail before you add any polish so that it better sticks. I also like to wear these protective gloves. I don't know how effective they are at actually blocking the UV light, but it gives me peace of mind. So pop these on. And then this is a little secret that I've done at home to make my polish last longer, my gel polish. Instead of aggressively buffing my nails down, I just do kind of like one sweep like this. I'm not gonna do that side yet. And then it helps it stay on and then gotta clean it one more time. And here we go. This is black onyx. What am I showing you guys? Don't get it confused. I wasn't trying to do black polish as my base. So this is the OPI gel color base coat. 
And the trick with gel polish is to do a really thin layer. Like a little bit on the brush goes a very, very long way. Pop it in. And then when you're done, you wanna use that same cleanser and wipe down the nails so that they're not sticky. Okay, I think my battery's gonna die and my other battery's also dead, so I'm gonna finish the other side <laughs> while I let my batteries charge so that I can do my makeup with you guys as well. I might be so tired of this video that I might call it a wrap after the makeup, but we will see how I'm feeling. Um, my nails are done, and let's do some makeup. I'm gonna do what I feel the best in, which is currently a matte but dewy finish. I know that sounds super contradictory because it is, but I just have been loving this NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Just think that the coverage on it is also just incredible. So I'm prepping with that same Naturium Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. This foundation right here, okay? Just wait for it. Before and after, I'll do this side. The best way to apply it is with your fingers. Let me show you the texture. And you want to use a small amount, work it in, and then blend it out. It has incredible coverage. So you really don't need a lot and it spreads out really, really well, but it likes to set super fast. So you want to work in sections. I don't recommend shaving your face and then doing makeup in the same day, but you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. I mean, doesn't it look like I just put on a skin filter like I'm on Instagram stories with a little bit of Paris? You know what I mean? <laughs> Kosas Concealer to Highlight, shade 03. I like to balance out the matte with something a little more dewy the highlight or not even dewy but hydrating bronzing next look at this cream bronzer i've gone through so many of these now it's my favorite and when i'm this low what i do is i take the end of my brush and i scoop out the bronzer and then i just warm it up on the back of my hand wow that's a lot but if you take a brush, because there's only bronzer on the edge, you don't get an even application on the brush. So this is a way around it. Just uh, don't be as wasteful as I'm being right now. I'm gonna add it to the areas where I want it. My Laura Mercier translucent powder. And press the powder into here because that's where I crease. And then with that same powder, I'm gonna very lightly dust certain areas of my face that I wanna set and that I want mattified. But because this foundation does such a great job at setting itself, I feel like I don't need a lot. I have like a little blotch of bronzer there. I don't need a ton of powder, so I just lightly Sort of dust the center of the face. And then see how the high points are still nice and glowy because I didn't set them? That is where I'm gonna pack on my highlighter. I'm also gonna add a little bit of a shimmery bronzer to those areas. This is Ambient Lighting Powder from Hourglass Shade Luminous Bronze Light. Same brush, which by the way, these brushes, oh my god, they were just sent to me and they are amazing. It's this brand new brand called Refer. Can you see that? It's so good, and I'll take the same brush and just kind of lightly dust in this like, I call it like this C right here. Because when you think about it, when bronzer hits your face, like when you, oh, not bronzer, when you get tan and the sun hits your face, the high points get tan also. So I like to just kind of add it to this area. So just like that. I'm just gonna use this one from Charlotte Tilbury. I wanted to use the Rare Beauty one, but it's a cream and I've already kind of set my face with powder so here's what I'm gonna do with the blush too I'm gonna I have to do this because there's a window right here and then I can't see what I'm doing so I'm gonna add it here but then also just kind of sweep it into the crease see that 
So I'm not hitting this little pocket where the highlighter is going to go, but cheeks, bring it back, and then lightly just sweep it into the crease, and it gives this beautiful effect. Like you took the time to do your eyeshadow, but you didn't. And just don't overthink it. Like, don't think like, oh my god, it's not going in the crease. It's going on my brow bone. If you do it very lightly, it just adds this beautiful color to that area. My fave still, Pixie Glowy Gossamer Duo. You think I would know the name by heart, but I don't. Golden side to that little pocket. So there. And it's going to stick on really well because I didn't powder that section. And if you do powder it, mix with a little Fix Plus or setting spray. Wait till it almost dries and then go back in with your highlight. Get it into that inner corner, but then also bring it up into this inner part of the eye right there. And then if I want a little extra eyeshadow, this palette is perfect. Dominique Cosmetics Transition Palette. Look at these colors. To further define, I'm going to add toffee into the crease and also a little bit along the lower lash, lash line on the outer edge. These candies are so good. If you've seen them on Instagram, they really are that good. Especially if you're Latina like me and you love like the spicy, like chamoy and you know what I'm talking about? I put it on like all your favorite candies and it's so addicting. How do you give them a shout out? Okay, Lip, Belle de Jour by NARS, my favorite. Such an effortless nude. You don't even need a mirror. She's a new woman from the intro of this video. <laughs> a mezcal rita for you, the vlog do you actually want one yeah i actually do want one i've had a very long day of just like getting right ready. now this mezcal is really good from trader joe's holla oh it's a healthy margarita <laughs> never, do the bartender shake, come on! I never did that, you know I don't do that. Yes, come on! <laughs> You're talking about the... <laughs> <laughs> it's like this. Is it gonna spray everywhere? It might, don't look at the like top. This. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how it works. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day for me to you. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, getting ready with me. I promise it does not take all day long, but when I'm also the camera woman filming myself, it takes a lot more time. So as you can tell, I'm losing light. It's now evening. I'm gonna spend the rest of the night drinking my little mezcal margarita. Um, my outfit is great for a little at-home date night. Um, it's kind of like a little like bralette and sweater from Camila Coelho collection. And below the waist, I'm just wearing jeans and my house slippers because I'm not going anywhere, obviously. <laughs> um, all right, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one.